Hey guys, it's Rick Rozek, just checking in with you. Um, on Facebook earlier tonight, we were talking in the uh, hypnosis area in regards to being able to use your cell phone in a couple of different ways. Uh, one of the conversations we had up during the hypnosis training this past week was uh, sometimes being in those spotty areas and your phone not working. A uh, quick and easy solution is to be able to... Um, like we mentioned, if you want to go into maybe places like Staples or Best Buy uh, or any place that sells a throwaway, like a throwaway phone. I hate to use the word throwaway, but you kind of get the idea whether it's disposable or rechargeable. And you can find phones like that for, you know, low end of price, maybe 20, 30, 50 bucks ish to kind of give you an idea for price. Um, and, uh, you know, that way you're able to recharge the phones and what have you and being able to have it as a spare phone in case for whatever reason the regular phone you have doesn't work. Uh, but one thing which I like to do and a lot of people don't uh, know <laughs> with their phones uh, because I work in the cellular industry is most of the time if you're uh, in either in a Wi-Fi area or if you're in an area where you're getting a data signal but you're not getting maybe the cellular signal, uh, sometimes you might be in an area where your cell phone signal is weak, but the cell, the uh, data signal that they're transmitting uh, can be stronger. It does happen. And what you can do is you can use um, uh, a couple of different programs. One of my favorites out here is Tango, this program which you're looking at right here. Now, uh, you say to yourself, well, Skype could probably do the same thing, and to a point it will. However, um, depending on the carrier and depending on the type of smartphone that you have, Skype is and is not supported. Uh, again, uh, to kind of give you an example, I used to have a cell phone. I could make Skype audio calls, but I could not do Skype video calls. Uh, is that a big deal? Depends on your circumstances. If you need to show something to somebody, um, that's that's great. If you need to just simply have a conversation uh, with them, uh, that's fine too. The reason I do like the Tango, as you can see, uh, it's available in the App Store for the iPhones, Google Play for the Android phones, and also it will work on uh, the Windows PC based smartphones so a very all-in-one app uh, that's put together very very well um, the thing which is nice about it is actually it'll incorporate your contacts uh, from your phone um, you can tell it which ones to import if for some reason after it's done that import and you meet somebody after you've done that process you can add them into the contact library or choose to uh, add them or not add them totally up to you what I'm gonna do to kind of give you a quick idea as far as how it all comes together is I'm just going to show you the promo video which they use on their website. I'll let you watch it for, uh, it's only about a minute and 28 seconds long as you can see. And then what I'll do is I'll actually show you what the final product looks like. I have it on my phone as well as on my tablet. Um, the thing which is cool is if your cell phone ever dies, guess what? Your tablet can now be a phone. Uh, so it looks a little awkward maybe holding the tablet up to your ear or something, but <laughs> not necessarily holding it up to your ear. But you could turn the tablet's speakerphone on and actually have a conversation. And if you have a uh, Bluetooth headset like these little guys right here, um, if you don't have one of these, I would strongly encourage getting one. Uh, a little Bluetooth piece, or again, you could turn on the speakerphone or use your uh, earbuds if you have them. So let me show you the video and kind of give you an idea how it works and then I'll show you how you could do it through your phone. So here we go. Welcome to Tango. You've now joined tens of millions of other people who use Tango to share their experiences and stay close to their loved ones. After registering with your phone number, we automatically find your friends who also use Tango. To make a call, tap the name of a contact. This will bring up the contact details screen. Here you can make free video calls, voice calls, or send a free video message to your friends. Let's use the video call feature to Tango Sophia. It's as easy as tapping a button, but don't forget to smile. Now let's throw a little fun into this scene with Tango Surprises. To use Surprises, tap the magic wand icon. Tango Surprises are an entertaining and interactive way to express your emotions. Be sure to check back frequently as new surprises are constantly being revealed. Let's see what else Tango can do. Video messages are a way to store your memories forever and share them with the people you care about most. Let's send a free video message to Sophia straight from our contact details screen. After tapping the video message button, tap the red record button to capture your memory. Good. Now tap the record button again to end the message. Then tap send. Tango is that easy. Look at you. Tango Pro already. 
So a pretty cool video and explained it very well. I like that little surprises uh, feature too as well. Um, a nice thing, for example, let's say maybe it's uh, you're sending that special message to a loved one. You can have the little hearts come up and whatever, uh, and being able to pre-record a message and send it as well. So uh, again, lots of different features. But uh, to kind of give you an idea as far as how this all works, here's my uh, Android phone right here. I have my tablet right next to me, but so instead of me trying to pick up two different devices and do two different things, I'm just going to show you um, through my phone what you can and can't do. Um, for the most part, you can pretty much do, uh, for example, you can actually turn the webcams around, which is nice. So, for example, on my phone, I have the capability of using my front-facing camera and the capability of using my rear-facing camera as well. So in this particular case, I'm going to call my tablet. Let me show you what the screen looks like once you get in there after you have gone to your contact list. And actually, why don't I show you that first before we get too far in. Here's what your contact list is going to look like. Let me just kind of hopefully hold that up to you there. So here's some people who I know who are in my contact list in my phone, which I added to my Tango calling list. So again, the capability of audio or making a video call to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this around for just a quick second. You saw a bunch of icons at the top. Um, and these are the icons news, friends, chat, invite, and play. And so the thing which is cool is you can also text people through this too if they also have the app. So in this case, I'm going to click on the contact that says Rick R. Tablet. And this is my tablet, which is right down next to me. So in this case, let's try sending a text message. So as you can see on the phone right there, you're going to see the text message on the left, phone call on the middle, and video on the right. So let me go ahead and press on the text. And right now my text comes up here in pretty much just an open text bar. So I'm just going to type in the words or video speak. This is a test message. So now I'm going to go ahead and if you look on the far side here, you're going to see a tiny little orange arrow right there. So you can see my message I typed. Test message, hit the button. Okay, and you just heard my phone as well as my tablet pick up the message. So when I click on my icon, I can see right now on there where it says this is a test message. And my tablet is showing the exact same thing as far as it being the received message. Okay, but now let's go back for a second here. Let's say, for example, I want to do an audio call. Or actually, I'm just going to jump right to a video call. Audio call is pretty much the same thing. Video call is a little bit more um, expansive here. So I am going to click on that little TV icon, little TV camera icon right there with a little letter T inside it here. Hit the button. And you can hear my tablet ringing right now. So I'm going to click on my tablet. My tablet comes up with a message saying someone's trying to do a video call. And I'm going to accept yes to allow my webcam on the tablet to do it and you can hear my voice and I'm sure you can hear the echo of the tablet being able to hear my voice and if I mute the microphone here okay so now the microphone's muted on my phone okay so what happens is I have the volume down on the tablet so I wouldn't create a bunch of feedback but you kind of get the idea I would be able to use the tablet to talk to the person and vice versa through my smartphone to them. When you take a look at the phone right here, you can see right here, for example, I have my forward facing camera and my rear facing camera on. So in this particular case, the camera you're seeing in the lower left is actually the phone and the image you're seeing of me kind of sideways, if you will, only because I didn't change the uh, direction of the cam, is obviously what the tablet is seeing. But you kind of get the idea. But it's very, very simple uh, to use. I'm just going to go ahead and terminate the phone call. And the call is now terminated because all I have to do is just simply just go in, close it, and I told the call to end. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the call off here. And I'm going to hang up. And the call is now disconnected. So this is why I like Tango, a fantastic app. And again, like I said, if you're out and about, you're trying to use a phone, you're in that spotty area and you can't do it, but you have access to data. Uh, and again, you could use this on your tablet as well. If you needed even to pre-send a message to someone, you could do it that way right through your tablet, even if you didn't have your smartphone with you. So uh, hopefully you found this uh, educational to uh, help you out. And if you ever have any questions, you can either try and uh, private message me on Facebook. 
if you want, uh, or you may have my email address um, if you're part of the Hypnosis Entertainment Group. But if you need to reach me directly or have any questions, feel free to uh, get me on Facebook or you can message me at rickdj at AOL.com. Again, rickdj at AOL.com. So hopefully you guys like this and uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye.